Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We in your hearing Psalms number one, and it's entitled. It reads, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, not standing in the way of the sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scum. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, for are like the shell which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. May the youth songs from the one in some time. May the Lord add a blessing to the reason. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. And bow our heads for prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we humbly bow this time, <clears throat> giving you thanks and praise, dear Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you for touching us this morning, dear Heavenly Father, and giving us a new breath of life. You watched over us as we slumbered and slept last night, dear Heavenly Father. But yet and still, dear Heavenly Father, you allowed us this opportunity to come before you on this day, dear Heavenly Father. We know, dear Heavenly Father, that some may have gone to sleep last night, and yet at this day, dear, we didn't see it, dear Heavenly Father. So we just want to give you thanks, dear Heavenly Father, for selecting us, dear Heavenly Father, to be here. So we pray, dear God, that, that you guide and direct us as we go through this day. We pray that we first may be attentive, dear, dear Heavenly Father, for the place that you've uh, chosen us to be, dear Heavenly Father. We ask for your guidance and your direction in all that we do. We pray for the sick, the needed, and the shut-in. We pray for families who have lost loved ones, who read families, dear Heavenly Father. We ask that you comfort them, dear God. And then, dear Heavenly Father, we pray for this uh, church service that will take place this day. We ask that you bless Pastor Walker, dear Heavenly Father, that you guide and direct him, dear Heavenly Father, in a most special way, dear Heavenly Father. And that the words that he speaks, dear Heavenly Father, that we take them in, dear Heavenly Father, and we apply them to our life, and when we go out to the highways and byways of life, we preach and teach the good word, dear Heavenly Father. So we just want to give you thanks. We want to give you thanks for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, that we might have a right to the tree of life, dear Heavenly Father. And in your God, we just pray for this world, dear Heavenly Father. We pray for peace, dear Heavenly Father. Because we know, dear Heavenly Father, that you are the everlasting God. You are the Prince of Peace, dear Heavenly Father. And so we just want to give you thanks and praise. We pray for this uh, world right now, dear Heavenly Father, that's looking up on the wall, dear Heavenly Father. There are people having to travel to and fro, dear Heavenly Father. But we know that you have everything in your hands, dear Heavenly Father. So we just thank you. We pray right now, dear Heavenly Father, for conditions even in this uh, America, dear Heavenly Father, when we see the high price of gas, high price of food, we're seeing uh, violence in our communities, dear Heavenly Father. But we know, dear Heavenly Father, you look from high to low, dear Heavenly Father, and you see everything. And we know, dear Heavenly Father, that you have a plan, dear Heavenly Father. So we just ask, dear Heavenly Father, that we be in your will, and we continue to seek you first, dear Heavenly Father and put you before everything else, dear Heavenly Father. So we just want to give thanks again this day. We do all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.
to them. Thank you, Lord, for trusting me with your word. Now, Lord, help me to preach your word. In the name of Jesus, uh, Christ.
saints of old used to describe it as being sometimes up yes, and sometimes down. Yes, now, don't don't let don't listen to people that try to convince you that you are not a Christian mm -hmm. because you have some times of despair. Yeah. Jesus had some high times yes, sir. and he had some low times. Yeah. And so if Jesus had some highs and some lows, mm -hmm. certainly we will have some highs and lows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some hours of joy. Yeah and some hours of despair. In this text, he has come from an hour of joy yeah, yeah. to an hour of despair. Let's look at the cause of his hour of despair. His, his disciples refused to come up to what they should have or could have been. Jesus had been working with them. Jesus had given his disciples the power to cast out demons. And when he was in the mountain, a father carried a, a demon-possessed son to the disciples. And, and when Jesus came back from the mountain, that bewildered father had a report. Yeah. He said, Lord, Lord, my, my son is in bad shape. He's got something going on with him that he's jumping in and out of the fire. Yeah. He's foaming at the mouth and rolling on the ground. And, and I brought him to your church. Yeah. That was the only church that Jesus had at that time. Yeah. I brought him to your disciples. Yeah. And notice, notice the report was, he didn't say they would not uh, 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 cast uh, them out. Uh, he uh, said they, they could not, yeah. which, which means they tried yeah. and they failed. Yes, now, now keep in mind, Jesus had trained them. Yes. Jesus had taught them. Yes. Jesus had given them everything they needed to be able to cast out demons. Yeah. And, and, and Jesus had even given them the password. Yeah. And the password was in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And you know when you get people's password, then you can kind of get into their business. So Jesus said, I'm going to give you the password. Yeah. And when you get the password and you're faced with a situation like that, if you yeah. just use that password, you can connect to yeah. my power. Yeah. 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 Well, that day, that day, they, they had everything they needed. Yeah. They even had the password. Yeah. And when they used the password in the name of Jesus, they still couldn't connect to the power they needed to cast out those demons. This caused Jesus to be in an hour of despair. Yes. I've given you everything that you need. I've even given you the password, and, yes. and I left you here to take care of matters like this. Yes. And when I, when I came back from the mountain, the, the Father reported to me that you failed yes. in doing what I had given you the power yes. to do. Yes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> this caused an hour of despair for Jesus. He said, oh, ye. Faithless generation. How, yes, how long shall I suffer with you? How, how long shall I endure you? Now Jesus, Jesus was not complaining here. Jesus was 
in a, in a, in a sad way. Jesus was in a mournful way. Jesus was in a, a broken hearted way. How long? Yeah. How long? Shall I burn myself yeah, yeah. trying to make men of the world into men of God? How, yeah. how long? Yeah. When we don't do the things we should do to become what we should and could become. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cause those yes, that have invested in us uh -huh. to be in an hour of despair. Yes, yeah. these, these were not some strangers. These were some fellows Jesus had in, invested in. Yeah, yeah. And they still failed yeah. to come up yeah. to what they could have been. I'm sure there's somebody in this house or somebody on the line that has invested in, in somebody. You provided them all they need to be saved, to be sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. You taught them right. You trained them right. You, you gave them what they need to be successful. You gave them what they needed to be prosperous. And they are still either lost or they are weak Christians. Yeah. They are still struggling, yeah. suffering, yeah. Yeah. borrowing, begging. Yeah. Yeah. And you are in a state of despair yeah. because you've given them everything yeah. they need. And yeah. you know that it didn't have to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way they are. Yes, sir. You are lamenting, you are despondent, you are mourning. And you were wondering, should you give up? Oh, or should you just keep trying in some way? Because you know in your heart, if they had followed what you taught them, if they had used what you had available for them, they wouldn't be in the situation they're in. Shall I go on? Shall I keep trying? Yes, Lord. Well, how to face the hour of despair? That's, that's no question about it. We're going to come to it. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. We're, we're going we're to have to deal with it. But, but Jesus in this text teaches us how to face that time. Yeah. Jesus says, Bring the boy to me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Jesus could not change his disciples mm -hmm. because they would not let him. Mm -hmm. But there was something he could do. Right. He could heal the man's son. Yes, so Jesus says, bring, bring him to me. You, you brought him to them and they failed. I can't help them, but I can help you. So bring, bring the boy to me. The future did not look good for the church on earth at that time. Jesus, Jesus was about to leave. And, 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 and his church was weak. They were failing. They were faltering. They were baffled. And they were ineffective. But Jesus, yes, did not let that stop him from doing what he could do the right thing. Bring the boy to me. I, I can help this father. I can, I can help this son right now. I, I can cast this demon out. My, my church should have done it, but they failed in doing it. But, but I'm going to do what I can do right now. Bring him to 
as we travel this way, yes, Lord. we cannot avoid Lord, yeah. the hour of despair. Yes. As we sit there, look around at our children, our grandchildren, yes. husbands, wives, nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, Lord, yeah. other family members and friends, mm -hmm. we can see something yes. that will cause us to be in an hour of despair. Yeah. Something that will cause us to hurt. Something that will cause us to be responsive. Yeah. As we look at the church, Lord have mercy. Yes, we can see some weaknesses. Yeah. We can see some sinfulness. Yeah. Yeah. We can see some hypocrisies in, in some church members. We can see some laziness in some church members. Which will cause us to be in an hour of despair. Yes. But we must remember, Lord, yes. we cannot face the hour of despair by quitting. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes folks look at the church and they say, this is not right, that's not right. Yes. They're not doing this and they're not doing that. So I'm going to just quit until, until they get it all straightened out. But Jesus in the text says, my church had failed, and I didn't quit. Yeah. And if I didn't quit, you don't have a right to quit. You can't face it by quitting. We can't face it by staying awake and staying uninvolved. We can't face it by omitting our duties and our responsibilities. We must do as Jesus did. We must do what we can for those that we can help. We must make life better for those that will let us make life better. We must help those that will let us help them. We couldn't help his disciples.
was not what Jesus wanted it to be, what he left. Uh, I know, I know, we, we always talk about what the church ought to be. Yeah. The church was not what it should have been when Jesus was here. Yeah. It was not what it should have been when he left. Yeah. He looked at Jerusalem and said, I would have gathered you. As a hid yes, yeah. but you wouldn't have let me. Yeah. It wasn't what it should have been. He knew Judas would betray him. He knew Peter would deny him. Yeah. But he did not let that stop him yeah. from doing yes what he could do. Yeah. Yeah. He could not. He could not. He could not. Make men believe. All right. But it could make it possible uh -huh. for men to be saved. To be saved. Yeah. For while we were yet sinners, yeah. he said, Now I can't make you believe, yeah. but I can give you something to believe in.
stand. Yes. That's how you deal yes. with the hour of despair. Yes. Bring your boy yes. to me. Yes. Yes.
that, that, that's how you deal with your despondency. If you just focus in on, on who you want to help. So Jesus says, bring the boy to me. Jesus says, look around you. There is, there is a way to deal with it.
to the orphans, to the widows that are, are suffering, and indeed, help them, Lord, to keep their eyes open. We pray, dear Master, that you will so strengthen them that whatever else is going on in the family or in the church, that's not what it ought to be. They should not let that stop them from doing what they can. Your church was not what it should have been, but thank God Almighty, you kept on doing it. Help us, Lord, to keep on doing what we can do even right now. Can't do it on our own, Master. We need your strength. We need your power. We need you to keep these encouraged. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Thank you. Thank you for what you will do in their lives. In the days, weeks, the months, the years to come. It is in his name. For his sake. Beautiful card for all of Mount Calvary. 